no hang-ups. Jane here. I'm off to the hospital to visit my uncle. He fell, he fell down a mine shaft at work the other day. He's all right. When they finally got him out, turned out he had minor injuries. Beep. Welcome back to Sassy Granny Vlogs. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm out here on my porch. I just walked outside. The wind's blowing. It feels good out here. My stupid stomach acted up again this morning. I just got problems with my stomach. And I'm supposed to... That's what, a while back when I went and had the, the scope done, both ends, the doctor told me I was just going to have to figure out what foods messed my stomach up and uh, not eat them. And that's hard to do. And, you know, when you're not the cook and your husband is and he's old-fashioned and just cooks, you know, meat and potato stuff all the time, that's the stuff I, you know, need to stay away from, I guess. The starchies, he never gets vegetables. And, uh, and I'm not a good cook. I don't know how to do all that stuff. That makes it hard. And then, too, when you ain't got teeth and can't chew stuff up. And then, too, you know, the foods that I would be able to eat that wouldn't bother my stomach is going to be things I really don't like very much. So, that just makes, you know, food and life not fun anymore. And you're supposed to be able to enjoy your food you eat. But I woke up this morning. Hubby fixed two, fixed fried eggs and bacon. I ate two fried eggs and bacon. I was fine first thing this morning, and it tasted good. Then I went to the bathroom and threw it all up. I had diarrhea, too. So I don't know what to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. But anyway, I'm not feeling too good right now. My stomach is still a little woozy. I mean, I took a nap, went back to bed and took a nap after all that. But I woke up, and for lunch, I had one can of chicken and rice soup like the chicken and noodle soup, but it was chicken and rice. So I ate a little bit of that. Stomach still feels woozy though. Okay, see this stuff out here? This is some of the stuff that I had gotten out of the trailer with that other girl that was helping me. Sorry, I got gloves on my hands because I'm gonna try to see what I can do a little bit out here with this stuff. All right, this was one of my pretty decorated containers right here. I had saved all this stuff to craft with. And like I said, it's been in the trailer. Mildewy, moldy, misty, smelling. See that stuff you can see right there on that? So, garbage. It's going in the garbage. I need something to put it in. Is this empty? Well, no, not really, but... Can you? That's Gracie's thing. Okay, right there. All right, all the trash is going in here, and then he can take it out. Now, this was a bookmark that could be, you know, decorated. I'm chunking it. I got plenty of craft stuff, and I can always buy few other little more things. I'm going to try to make a journal book out of that, I guess. Okay. Aluminum foil I was doing something with. I didn't want you on the fork. I want you in the bucket. Okay, here's another thing. Another little piece of aluminum foil. Now, should I save stuff like this? It actually looks like it's broke, or does it go together? I can't remember. It was some kind of stand or something. It looks like big uh, paper clips. And I think it holds something. It seems like there's a stand these should go on. I don't know. I can't remember. All right, there's some more tags to make bookmarks and stuff with. 
never opened. Okay, here is, I guess I should get me a chair. Nothing's in this bag, and it was a pretty bag. See, there's like ladybugs. My hair is getting in the way. All these printed out things right here, someone had given me. Gotta go. It's sad. It really is. But I'm to the point now where I, I don't mind. I can get rid of all this. But I do want to go through it. I don't want to just pick this box up and throw everything away. And there's some twine. That aluminum foil down in there. Alright, what is this? Hang on, y'all. I gotta get me a chair. I can't do that standing up, bending over. I don't know what I was thinking. Hang on, I'll be back when I get Okay, out I'm back and I'm sitting down. Okay, this here is another little bag. And it's got something. I'm trying to do this one-handed because I'm holding my phone. So y'all bear with me. I'm getting out what was in here. I'm just ripping the bag. Okay. okay. Oh, That was her. She had painted these little things. Complete sticker collection. 20, 2009 to 2015. This was a channel I used to watch. Kothas Artist. She explained that her husband's last name was Outhouse. Her name was Kathy or Catherine, something like that. That's what the K is for. And him and his family had a fallen out, so he changed his last name from Outhouse. Because he didn't like that anyway. <laughs> he took the some letters out is all he done. So it was O-U-T for out. And then it was H-O-U-S-E, out house. So he took some letters out and it just made it Othus, O-T-H-U-S. So that stands for Karen or Catherine Othus Artist. And these are some little paintings that she painted. And I think I bought them, I ordered them and bought them from her. This was back when I lived. I'm not going to be able to get this open with these gloves on and holding my phone too. Oh my word. I need something to prop my phone up on. <sighs> Hang on just a minute. I'm going to try something. This is going to make my video longer than it really needs to be. See, stuff like this is really sad. These here, it's a shame to have to throw these away. It really is. These are nice little, and look, she's made them into stickers, but she painted these. Look how nice they are. And I paid for these, y'all. I don't remember how much. These would go in junk journals so good. What should I do? Should I try to wipe them off and clean them? And keep them and use them? Even though they got a little damp, wet, and it's been in a trailer that's all musty, moldy, misty, whatever. Mildewy. I'm going to set them aside, and I'm going to wait for y'all to answer me on that. Because I just don't know. I don't know what to do. So, y'all let me know 
Okay, here's like a pack of die cut cardstock. There's a piece of pretty something that could have been used. Here's some um, bookmark tassel things I had bought, never opened and used yet. All these tag pieces here. And look, this is my, oh no. See, I'm thinking to start getting sadder and sadder. These are my Tilda cutouts. And I really loved Tilda, the Tilda stuff, the Tilda doll. But I can even through my gr gloves, I can feel that gritty stuff. Oh my word, that is so sad, so sad. Look at here, Tilda dolls. Oh, Lord, help me through this. Help me, help me, Jesus, help me. All right, there's envelopes. This looks like a painted one. It's all spooky. Okay. There's a pit. That's the back side. There's a cat on it. There's a picture of a girl I was going to use. There's another painted up envelope. Okay, that was sent to me from Donna. Is anything left in it? Okay, it's opened up here. No, I guess I was saving the envelope to craft with. And then here is all of these kinds of... And look, they have texture on them. They're pretty. It's all sad. But they gotta go. Oh my word, oh my word, oh my word, oh my word. Oh, look at these glitter ones. Uh, did I get everything out of that one? Yeah, and this box, I'm gonna chunk the box too. I'm just going through things and just seeing if there's something that could be saved. these cardstock pieces I had folded into like junk journal book forms and stuff. Um, anything else in that one? Alright, something here I had circles for I was going to do something with. I was going to color that and use that. Um, let's see. That's pretty. I'm hoping, I think y'all can still see. Uh, this box and what I'm doing here. I hope so. That's something I drawed, I guess. Somebody did. Look at there, three sisters on a wall. I remember that was called Three Sisters on a Wall. That's a backing. That's like a, it's probably a rub on. Uh, teapot. Beauty and the Beast. Coloring sheet. Okay, what is this? Oh, okay. Chick fil A. That's faded. Fresh is the Chick fil A away. No, Chick fill away something like that and then here's a pattern thing printed out that was like a paper doll with that's what that is paper dolls with paper doll clothes maybe i can find some more of this stuff later okay teapot pretty papers look at there vellum i think these pretty design things here Flowers, look how beautiful. That is sad. So, so sad. I feel the grittiness through my gloves, y'all. Oh, my word. Why do I get so much that I can't get around to using it all in time? You know? Alright. That's a 
another teapot. I think that, no, there's no piece of paper in there. Another teapot. All right, this is empty, but it's old. It was in there. It's got that stuff all on it, so garbage. Now, this is a couple of bottles. Years ago, I made a wreath for a friend that was having a baby and she was having a baby shower. And I had put diapers around it and I had put a couple of bottles and Rattlers. And I was gonna try to build up stock and try to see if I could start making those and selling them. As always, it never works out. So I never got around to doing that. These, look at that stuff. That's not just dust. I don't know if y'all can see that or tell up close. That's not just dust. That's probably all that mildewy mold junk on there. And no, I wouldn't let a real baby use it today, but I mean like Gracie playing with the baby dolls. Should I clean this up and let her play with them? Is that safe enough? Or chunk them? Y'all let me know. I'm going to sit them right here with this too. That is dirty. It's a little bowl and it's got... Was that in the craft stuff or was it sitting here? I don't remember, but it's yucky. I'm going to chunk it. All right. This is a jar. Okay, it has... Shoot, I ain't even going to be able to get that open. There's screws and hooks in there and a couple of bottle caps. But I'm going to chunk it. I can get all new stuff. This was all of Hubby's like to coax much, he likes to collect coax stuff, I'm chunking it. It's all not worth it anymore to me. I'm, I'm at that point. I don't care. I need to get it out of my life. I asked him, he don't care for it anymore. These plastic coat things, now this is a cute little, but I don't know. Just to set up on a shelf and get dusty because it's cute and you want it as a whatnot. See, I'm even, ooh, I'm even thinking different about that anymore. These things, I am, I'm ready. I'm, I don't know what's wrong with me. I never would have done this before in my life. There's no way you could have got me. This was uh, Elizabeth's old garbage can. She don't want it anymore. It's out. This is my key that I've got to fix. It keeps blowing off and falling off of my wind chime. I've got to put it back up there. Now, y'all, way back in the day, I used to sell Tupperware. These are real Tupperware bowls and containers. It says Tupperware right there. All these people, all these videos, I'm sorry, this is a big, big, big pet peeve with me. I watch these videos. These people will be cleaning up or cooking in their kitchen or organizing. And they show a bunch of plastic containers that is all this store-bought plastic containers you get. And they call it Tupperware. Oh my word. I'm sorry. It is a very big bad pet peeve with me. Those things are not Tupperware. This is Tupperware. Stop calling that junk Tupperware. I'm sorry. But anyway, but you can, I feel it. You can see the stuff on it. Is it safe? Again, for me to clean these up somehow, look. See there, it still even has the pamphlet in it. There's a potato pillar. Can I clean these up? in a good, safe way to use with food? Because I don't want to get rid of my Tupperware, y'all. So I'm going to keep these and set these aside. And y'all answer me on that. Look at that stuff on there, though. Y'all tell me. Will I be able to get that clean enough, safe enough to use with food again? I'm going to wait for y'all's answers. That's another cute little look at that stuff on there. That's not just dust. 
Here's another paper of one. Here's the lids to these bowls. So the bowls are somewhere. Because there's more Tupperware out there in that trailer. I have not come across. Did I tell y'all that my friend Sarah is coming up either Friday or Saturday this week and help me? We're going to work all day long on that trailer and see what all we can get out of there. Here's a cute little container. Can I? Should I try to clean it up and use it? Stuff like this. See, this is not paper and stuff. So y'all let me know. I'm going to save all this stuff. And y'all give me these answers, please. Because I need help with that. Alright, here's another bowl. Tupperware. That I want to save. That ain't going to go in there, so we'll set that back under there. Now. This here is craft stuff. It's something I actually started making. Never did get around to finishing it. And I still want to make this. I don't want to use this stuff anymore. But I want to take pictures of this. So you use a coloring book. You use coloring book pages. Uh, and you get your solid color card stock. That's what this is. I can find a way to lay it here. And you get big, and I don't know where to find these anymore. The grocery stores don't have them anymore. But these are yucky. I don't want to use these. But you get the big grocery sacks like this. And you turn, you make a book out of it. A junk journal book type. You use these solid colored card stocks plus some pretty patterned papers. Okay. And a coloring book of pages. And I had even gotten this. Let's see, that's some Hello Kitty stickers. That's going in there. This was stuff I was going to decorate it with. So this is like a folder. That's plastic. I wonder if I could clean that up and it would be safe enough. And this is too. This is like another little, yeah, folder. So y'all let me know about that. Is it safe to try to clean these up and keep them? So I'm going to lay this under here. This here is some more. It's a folder. Okay, see, this is what I was doing. This is what you do with that stuff. And now, see, I can't keep this. It's gross. i got to throw it away. But I'm going to take a picture of it to remind me what and how I did. So you use the card stock for background. You put another decorative piece of paper on it. And then these ones like, you know, your card games that has the same. See, all this, it was a theme. It was Winnie the Pooh. Okay? And then that's like a journaling card. And you put it in there and see, that's a pocket. So you use a construction paper. You put the coloring sheet on there. You use another, you make a, you cut it in a way to make a pocket with it under here. And then you do another one and you put... This is a page out of a kid's book about Pooh Bear. I put decorative paper on the back side of that. You know, and then that was the card game. So you use coloring books, children's books, and then the children's card games. So I'm going to take pictures of these. That's more stuff like it over there I'm going to go through. I'm getting rid of all of this, but I'm going to take pictures of this and save it. I'm not going to do that because I need my camera to take pictures. So I got to get off the vlog. But when I'm through here with all this, I'll be right back, okay? All right. Y'all, please give me the answers to my questions I need. All right, guys, I'm back. So I came across another Tupperware bowl. bowl. I've set it up there. This whole box, that was sitting on the swing over there. This is my Ninja Blender and all of its parts. I want to clean that up and try to use it if I can. I love that thing. Here's something I came across that I need to ask y'all about. You know how we used to take pictures back in the old day and you had negatives? So these are important family pictures. Can I save these? Will it be safe? And maybe hopefully get them developed one day? Y'all let me know. I'm going to leave it here with all this other stuff. And I'm waiting for all of y'all's answers. Another thing I've come across. 
This here was Hubby's graduation cap. Okay, that's his tassel. And that's a card and some uh, bookmark thing he got. It's in a plastic bag. It's filthy on the outside. It looks like it might be turning yellow and filthy on the inside. Is that savable? Is it cleanable to be safe? Let me know. And look at this, y'all. Look. That's hubby. That's me. I was pregnant. I think I was pregnant with Katie here. So I think we already had... I don't know. This may have been Elizabeth. I don't really remember which one it was. But see what a mess it's in? Of course, that's like the frame. So these, paper, these pictures are taped on there. So y'all tell me how I need to try to save these. Because you know... It's a shame, a big, big, big sad shame to throw pictures away. So please let me know. And then here is all that stuff I throwed away. I took pictures of all that, that I wanted to remember how to make that stuff so I could start making another one. All right, guys, I'm through out here. Please give me the answers how to clean this stuff up safely to be safely used. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all later in the next clip, toots. Until then, don't know how long this is, though. Okay, guys, this video went way over 26 minutes, and I, then I got to add this closing to it. So I'm closing this vlog. I'm going to go ahead and, and go for it and try it this long. Hopefully, it won't give me trouble going up. All right, guys, I'm going to let y'all go, and I'll get the next vlog started. I'll see y'all in the next vlog. Toodaloo!